Hey guys, it's Tracy Smiles Majestically, long time no see. I was just recording this video and then my computer turned off on me. But it's okay, I'm back. Um, so, I know I haven't been here in a while, but I really do want to start making videos. I feel like you YouTube uh, will really help me grow as a person. And even if I don't get a lot of followers, I pretty much want to do this for myself or just one person that can get anything out of my videos. Um, but mainly for myself. And I don't want to sound selfish, but a couple years ago, I couldn't come on YouTube and or even record a video of myself because I felt self-conscious. I felt like people were watching me. Maybe the government is watching me, but like I felt like people were watching me and I was so anxious and I was so shy even though I was alone by myself. So I give myself credit for being able to do this with confidence. Um, and I know as time goes on, I'll be able to have more confidence and be more open with my friendships. Because one thing I said in the last recording is that I struggle with um, opening up to people and letting people in. I usually close people off. So, um, actually I had lunch with my friends the other day and they were like, Tracy, I feel like you're mysterious. Like, you know all our business and we don't know yours. And I'm just like, guys, I have no business. <laughs> no. And I was like, sorry, I don't want to talk about anything. <laughs> no, I don't actually talk like that. But like, yeah, I really is uncomfortable. Like, I just get really anxious and I don't know why. Like... Not that people have the right to judge you, but I feel like people are going to judge, like, me over stupid things. So I'm just like, can't share anything. And, like, that's not how you should live. We should be excited to share parts and aspects of our lives with our friends, especially our close, close friends. Um, and I don't want anyone to get offended if I can't open up with them. It just takes longer with me than with other people. Um, so I also wanted to take talk about my school experience this year. So I just finished exams, so that also contributed to why I could be on here a lot. It was really stressful. Like my program is a social science program, so it's really writing intensive and it's about employment relations, the economy, politics, and society. So we do have to do a lot of in-depth research and you have to make your facts make sure that your facts are straight and it can't just be based on personal opinion and yeah it can't be based on personal opinion you need to have a lot of research and you have to make sure that your writing is actually good if you want to get a good mark on your assignments um so that has been stressful um but now i'm done exams um and i was finally able to go to the bookstore twice so far because throughout all this year I haven't been able to read as much and it has been driving me crazy so um but I've taken a detour this time when I went to the bookstore twice usually I go to the why section or the biography section or the self-help section because I love those sections um or I just browse I simply browse um but this time I went straight to the faith section um, actually, the first time it took me a long time to find it, but then I went to a sales associate and they were able to direct me just fine. Um, but yeah, I got a daily devotional that has interactive lessons that has been really helping me to apply my faith each day. Um, that's written by an MD and his experiences was that he knew a lot of research about medicine. He wrote like books and so much about medicine and he was able to apply it every single day and he wanted to be as on fire about Jesus as he was about medicine. So I think that's important to be able to apply our faiths in our daily lives um, and that has helped a lot. And then the second time when I went to the bookstore, 
Um, I didn't plan it this time, but I went into the bookstore. Um, this was after I found out that um, bad news. Like, it wasn't like bad, bad news, but like bad news. So, um, I ended up going to the bookstore to buy this jean jacket that I wanted like a week ago, but I didn't get um, because I wasn't sure if I should get it or if it was a smart decision or whatever. But I was feeling pretty down, so I was like, I deserve that like jean jacket. I'm going to live my best life today. <laughs> but while I was walking towards the store that had the jean jacket, I went into the bookstore and I was drawn to the faith section again and I was looking at the Bibles. And um, I generally use King James Version now um, because in my church we use King James Version. Um, but I saw an NIV version and I am in a Christian club called Powder Change on campus and they use NIV a lot. And I really like NIV because it's simple and it helps me to really focus and connect with God. Especially in the morning when you have brain farts or you're like, NIV is easier to understand. Um, but yeah, I love NIV. That has been helping me a lot. And it's so nice just to have a fresh brand new Bible and to be able to highlight in it and to just mediate on God's word. Um, also, something that I want to do more of this summer is ponderizing. So ponderizing is not a term that I came up with myself. It is from General Conference from my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, it was a conference talk given about three um, years ago. I'm not sure who gave the talk, actually, but if I find out, I'll link up below. Um, it was really a good talk. Um, ponderizing is basically when you mediate on a verse, like you ponder on the verse, and then you memorize it. And I feel like ponderizing is so important because as we go through our daily lives, um, or when you're going through struggles, you could just think of that first and it'll be with us, like wherever we go, like no matter what, like whether our phone is dead, whether we don't have our Bible with us, like it is implanted in your mind, your heart and your soul. And I don't think everyone has to be like a Bible scholar memorizing the whole entire Bible or so many verses. Um, but I think just having a few verses in your arsenal, like I know people know like general ideas of the verses, but like memorizing the full verses in your arsenal, that's powerful. Cause the enemy is awake. Um, there's only one verse that I have ponderized so far, but it's so powerful. So it's Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord as a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. So first, it honors the name of the Lord and talks about like how the Lord is our safety. He will keep us secure. He doesn't have any plans to harm us. He has a future for us. And like, I really love this verse. Because when I'm scared or when I'm anxious, I could be like, the name of the Lord is a safe tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Um, so I really love that verse. And one thing I also want to do this summer is practice Spanish more. Um, I also just want to mediate on the things that I've learned this year and try to implement it next year or do better next year. Like I want to work more on my time management skills, even though I've improved a lot. Um, and I want to improve on just fully enriching myself in the learning experience because I know it's easy to just do essays because you have to because it's due on this deadline and like you want to graduate and you want to get these credits but like the journey is as important the, the journey is as important if not more important than the degree that you get at the end of your university career um and I truly believe that because when you go to a job interview and they're like, tell me about an experience, you could be like, I remember in my undergrad, I've learned this and it has taught me to do this, this, and this. So a university degree or whatever knowledge that you have, it is not good until you can apply it and share it with others. And 
I think it's important to always have a positive mindset and want to be able to change the world in some way. Um, that's what I want to do um, with my future. Um, it was easy to get jaded, um, but I realized if all of us get jaded, who is going to go out and make a difference? No one will. So we have to keep on fighting and keep pushing through. So um, for my practical career, I want to do go into human resources or public relations. But on a grand scale, I want to be able to have my own social enterprise where I can help either the environment, help children in poverty, or youth with mental health issues and giving them a safe place to stay after school and um, just being able to help my community in some way. Um, and then also it'd be so, so cool to like organize or own or go on a humanitarian trip. Like that has always been my main goal. I remember in high school, like I wanted to be a humanitarian missionary and I still do, but I know my parents are scared, but like, that's what I want to do. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um, but of course, it's wherever God leads me. Um, I got two positions in my sorority this year. Um, and I'm so happy and so proud to be able to serve in these positions. Um, actually, I was thinking about like taking a semester off from my sorority this semester so that means I wouldn't be able to get a position if I did that because like elections are this semester but I ended up staying um and it was good that I stayed because it was a great support system and I'm so grateful for my sisters um and they see so much potential in me even when I don't see it in myself um but the positions I ran for and got, one of them I ended up being nominated for, but I dropped. Um, but the two positions that I have currently is Greek Outreach Chair. So that's when you help um, craft gifts and reach out and give to other Greek organizations, like giving them pizza nights and like just being love just embodying and embracing love and helping fellow students during this stressful hard university career um and brightening their day and then alums alumna alumni relations chair which is when the our lovely sisters go on and graduate and i'm just there to keep them connected with the chapter because they're not at chapter meetings so like I update them of all the important information and I hope that they'll be excited to see that um, and um, yeah I'm excited for the ideas that I made up so if I don't get that Brock Press job I'll actually be um, writing an alumni relations news article for my alum so I'm so excited for that um, and I just really wanted to tell you guys that no matter what you're going through and no matter if people put you down just keep on going keep on persevering keep on staying strong you got this it will go better it will get better I know it may not seem like that right now but things will improve and you just got to see it through it and I believe in you guys stay strong